Welcome everybody, welcome all young people to Nairobi and to the International Veteran of HIV and We're about to move into the most unbelievable youth bulge in the world. Young people are becoming really one of the most prominent populations in the world, but today they suffer from really very poor sexual, reproductive and general health and well-being. And we want to make a difference. We want to change that. And this conference is uh, directed at adolescents, uh, but by adolescents, for adolescents, really to, with the express purpose of improving the health and well-being of young people all over the world. We've been able to engage young people considering it's, a partic it's, it's, it's quite scientific and it's around research, clinical trials, injectables, like a lot of very scientific um, content. But we've been able to engage young people and make sure that they're learning and they're learning the importance of data and how to have um, programs or projects that are backed by data. And so I think that having them infused into the program from the process of designing through the youth reference group, from the participation as well for young people has been massive this year. We have about 119 young people Half of them are presenters, so I think that their involvement has been greatly felt. This year provided a lot of opportunities for young people to be involved in something that was not, that they generally don't get considered. One thing we've really tried to um, encourage through this workshop is the availability and the presentation of key evidence, particularly from programs that are working really hard uh, to provide services and interventions for, for adolescents. This workshop provides an opportunity for them to submit abstracts. Um, this year we've really uh, tried to focus on having the workshop to be led by research, so we've had a lot more oral presentations. The difference between this workshop and probably other larger HIV conferences is that we have really that focus on adolescence across the whole cascade, but uh, it is a, a place where it's less crowded by other topics, other populations. The question one might ask is, so does it matter? We have treatment. It does matter. We cannot treat ourselves out of the HIV epidemic. We need to prevent or stop new infections. But how do you ensure that they can understand the messages, that the products that are being developed are things they will want to use, that they're interested in? We need to talk to them. We need to hear what do they want. We need to get their ideas from them. You know, young people of that age have the greatest ideas because they haven't been boxed into thinking only in certain ways. They're free thinkers. The world is open to them. They don't see limits the way the rest of us do. And so a conference like this is really important because it brings together these young people who are aged less than 30 with those of us who are older, a few years above 30, let's say, and who are interested in making a difference to the lives of those we serve and the lives of our communities because we can hear from them what are the things we need to be doing how do we need to message what makes sense to them what works in their lives